Well, it's it's the end of the week again, guys. Welcome back to the wrap up of talking to the media's with Chris and Amanda. And uh, we're we're gonna we're gonna just start this. We're gonna start the week. Gonna end the week off. Uh, hopefully, on a, a good note. So I'm gonna just say Happy Friday to you, Amanda. What is up? What's going on out there? Happy Friday. We're starting the show, ending the week. It's hard to keep all that straight. <laughs> <laughs> I am good. It is raining in Florida, but I know that's nothing compared to what's happening in Texas. How are you? Uh, you know, it's it, it is what it is. I mean, I I haven't I haven't booked my uh trip to Cancun or anything like that. So I'm I'm <laughs> I'm I'm, <laughs> well, I'm, a, I'm a soldier. I'm gonna soldier <laughs> in. I have to throw you're that a little in there bit real behind quick. the times. Then I thought all Texans were going to Cancun right now. I, exactly. I was like, I said, oh wow, uh, Ted's getting everybody out of te- Texas for. <laughs> Uh, for a vacation. I was, oh, no, that's just for him. Okay. I saw the best one, though. I saw the best meme today for that. And it was, you know, whenever a white person goes on vacation to the tropics, they always come back with their hair corn road. And it was a picture of Ted Cruz and he had the hair done. And it was like, no, I haven't been in Cancun. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're, uh, wait a minute. We're not buying it. We see the hair. You have the hair done. You were on an island somewhere. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Well, we're going to, we'll get up to that next. That's going to be our, uh, we're going to uh, definitely go over Ted Cruz and, and uh, talk about uh, how the, uh, the, the people have responded on the comment section uh, later on, but you have a, uh, uh, that was a story that you came across. Well, you know, I'm a little bit sensitive about being called old these days because I am thoroughly, you know, I'm have a strong foot in my 30s at this point. So I'm a little bit sensitive. And I saw an article the other day that said that um, pretty much emojis in general were kind of going out of style, which I still love emojis. So I was a little bit upset. And then it said that one specific emoji, the crying laughing emoji is like absolute no go. Yeah, I'm and looking I was at, a little bit upset right about now. that. <laughs> Yeah, it said, um, sorry, millennials, the crying face emoji isn't cool anymore. First of all, <laughs> says who? What? I use that all the time. Do you use it? I'm, I'm crying. Uh, yeah, because I'm crying laughing. No, I, I think I, I just I use the laughing one a lot, but I don't use the crying laughing one too much because I'm, oh, I'm maybe cool. I am old. Then. I, don't, <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm 41. So I mean, I'm just I, I I'm just an old keep soul, I guess. <laughs> Well, it said, uh, so this was on CNN and it said, uh, bad news for people who frequently use the crying face emoji. It is no longer cool. Uh, and and you know, it's bad when CNN tells you that you're played out. I, I know <laughs> <laughs> it really was upsetting to me. I was like, dang, uh, the article said in recent weeks, two internet savvy generations have been clashing in videos and comments on TikTok." Mm-hmm. over the hallmarks of millennial culture. Um, and they said, most painful of all the popular crying, laughing emoji that some millennials, myself included, use hundreds of times a day. I use it a lot. At all. Like whenever, I feel like if somebody sends you something funny, but it's not something that's really worth a typed out response, that's that's my go-to. So I guess I'm washed up. I mean, I mean, I don't see, I mean, I can understand, I guess, that the emojis itself are, are getting, getting overused, um, I guess, uh, but what's, what's going to, what's going to replace it? I, I mean, now, now that, uh, I mean, even on TikTok now, whenever there's a, 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 a trending hashtag, they put a cool, like a, emo, like maybe I'm just dating myself. They put a cool new emoji at the end of it. You know, make, so maybe that's what played it out because Twitter did Well, it. I mean, at least we're still cool enough to where we're not saying emoticon remember when people would say like that was like <laughs> that reminds <laughs> me of when the internet first was invented people were trying to figure out what the at symbol meant it's like when uh, that that uh today show uh what was that that clip uh uh was that there was a talk show where they were trying to understand what email was is that a, i think is that a uh, you put your name and then that's that whatever that little A is. I think that's supposed to be at and then like kids are like, like minds are blowing up like. <laughs> try, try. Well, besides on the Internet, when else was that like regularly used really? Electronic mail. Oh, yeah, it was. <laughs> it was never. Well, I mean, the at sign. When were we ever using that in regular life before the Internet? And I'm sure I think it's called. I forgot what its actual name is. Yeah, I, I forget I, what it. It's a, is it a schwa? Is it a schwa or something like that? I'm, I'm I'm only basing this on an episode of The Simpsons that I saw. Oh, see, I don't. The only I know that the and symbol is an ampersand, but I don't know what ampersand. The, yeah, but that's, that's for that's that's the, for the like, and, yeah. That's that that's yeah. that fancy French and, ain't it? Yeah, but I don't know what the at symbol's real. I don't know what its government name is. Yeah, Toby. It's uh. <laughs> <laughs> 
that's what it is. T dog in the streets. Don't worry about it. <laughs> but I, I don't. I don't know. I think. I. I don't know. I. I guess. I mean, usually. Usually, it's uh, back in the day. I remember when Kanye West was talking about hip hop, like. Like it would be something like that, something that black people have been doing for years, and then and then one year when the rest of the world thinks it's cool and start using it, that's when uh, that's black when folks don't cool. want to use yeah. it no more. Yeah, I I know. I feel like we were talking about before we started recording. It kind of feels like Facebook, how it was really cool until your mom joined, and then yeah. the, like the young people were like, "We're out of here." We're yeah, absolutely we're going done. to Twitter, <laughs> and then when your mom yeah. is on Twitter, we're going to uh, Snapchat. Right. We have, and when oh, she's on there, then oh, old folks haven't really, really figured out Snapchat yes yet. And before, but before old folks like us started uh, taking on uh, taking over Snapchat, they quickly went to to TikTok. So the kids My are getting better at getting ahead of the curve. On, uh, Snapchat, because I'll forget what was sent by the time someone replies. I'm like, I don't even know what you're responding to at this point. T3 Media has a Snapchat. I don't use it at all. I don't. I'm not, I haven't. I activated it just to capture the name. I just haven't messed with it. I I had to admit it. Uh, and it's funny because I know TikTok is something that came after Snapchat, but it's based on the same things from like Vine and Instagram and stuff. So that was easy to catch on. Yeah. Snapchat is the first is, is officially the first and only app that I'm like, nope, not I'm not going to try to figure that one out. It doesn't make any sense to me. It really do, like I, I don't know. I, I don't need anything disappearing in my life. So. From, from what I understand, it's a way to people to send like messed up messages and, and it deletes forever. But that's what yeah, they tell you that's but, what they tell you but people can still take screenshots and all that kind of stuff exactly exactly people still take screenshots of things and then you don't know what what the snapchat pe uh, people are doing they probably are holding on to all of that <laughs> oh my gosh evidence <laughs> if snapchat ever got like hacked and all of their archives got released yeah. everybody i feel like every almost everyone in america would have a nude leaked if that happened everybody in america would have a law would have a joint lawsuit you said that was going to be deleted <laughs> Exactly. Like yeah. you sent what to that our neighbor? To be private. Yeah. Exactly. Like, like it's what was that website that got hacked? Uh, that all those affairs and stuff. So oh, it was, the Madison. Was it Madison? Madison? Ashley, 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 Ashley Madison. Don't be pretending yeah, like, like we. Let's not pretend like we don't know the website. <laughs> Well, I, I get that one. I knew it was like two first names, but I then there's like a hair brand, like right. a hair dye company that has a similar name too. So I wasn't sure which one was which. But yeah, um, Ashley Madison was where all the cheaters were, and their books got leaked. A lot of a lot of like like judges and Congress Listen, people and nothing stuff. Nothing is a secret on the internet, and if you don't know that by now, then you get what you get. The government, the government. Uh, that's that's one of those things where the government will quickly when it when it's something that can harm a, a grown man uh, uh, in, uh, in the Senate or the Congress or oh, the government. Yeah. Mm -hmm. th th then you you will learn how fast our government can activate and make something happen when they want to <laughs> shut something down. Uh, what what a mess! I know it's like you you're living your life and you find out your partner's on Ashley Madison and you're like, dang it, we're supposed to go to Cancun tomorrow. Like, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Not not now, Ted. You're in the doghouse. Yeah, exactly. That's a good. That's a, well, so and then and then uh, if now just well. Uh, there's a. I, I hope that the emojis thing, going back to what we were talking about, I hope that the emojis thing doesn't get played out because there's still some funny, funny stuff that uh, that like the eggplant emoji. I have yet to use that, you know, in a dirty yeah. joke to to my wife yet. So I, I'm still planning on using that. I don't. You I better hope it's use it before it goes out of. You know, they might it might get taken off the app store. You never know these days. <laughs> Things are getting canceled all the time. So use it while you can is what I'm saying. That's what use it said. before you lose it. <laughs> <laughs> but I, well i guess just let us know what you guys think is, what do you okay so you guys i don't okay is it is it played out is our emojis like just dead now is it is it or or are you like our age and like i don't know what you're talking about you know bah, 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 yeah bah. you have to pull out your good reading glasses to even see this show then you might be on the same old level as us <laughs> I, I still use the poop emoji <laughs> yeah i know, <laughs> you know? that that's my favorite one. Exactly. The, 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 the brown ice cream scoop guy. Like, no, that's the poop emoji, sir. No. <laughs> this is what you guys think. And we'll talk about it some more on uh, We Got Your Mail. Okay. So real quick, let's get into the uh, the, the comment section real quick. Because earlier we were talking about uh, Senator Ted Cruz over here. Because, you know, I'm, I'm from Texas. I'm going through some little bit over here. We had our power shut off. We had our water where I'm living. Um, hasn't hasn't frozen up yet. My neighbor across the street, her pipes burst. It was like a geyser on the side of her house. Um, I just and I just so happened to be looking out the window when it happened, and I just saw all this water flowing from the side out of her house. I've never met the lady before, so I had to run over there, knock on the door, 
and uh so it was an, an older lady and it looked uh, i mean i mean from the situation the way she kind of slowly opened the door i thought she already had the, the numbers nine and one already pressed on her phone <laughs> the way she looked at me and i was like ma'am like, yeah, there's a started what's going on yeah exactly <laughs> they're coming for me but they, they, they she's like she i was like ma'am there's like a geyser inside of your house your uh, sprinkler system pipe burst and I, uh, before the freeze came, I, I th that's happened to me before at, an, at another uh, rental that I used to uh, have. So I didn't want that to happen to me this time. So I, I looked on YouTube on how to release the, uh, the release the pressure in the sprinkler so it wasn't freeze. And I guess uh, she didn't. I told her that it was happening. And she just, this, she was like, oh man, I knew that's what that sound was. She was like, I told my lawn guy. I wonder how long it's been happening. I, I literally, I honestly think the timing was perfect. I think it might have been a minute before oh, I looked okay. out the window because it was I mean there was a lot of water flowing from the, from what I could tell where it was flowing down the street it could have been like five minutes mm -hmm. and she said something like I, t I my gardener or the guy who does my lawn told me he did that but I guess he didn't so I had to go I had to let that water hit it was cold as hell the water the water uh was splashing down on me I had to put my sleeve up and kind of like fight through it and, oh and my turn, gosh and turn off the valve for her so You're a wouldn't. good neighbor. <laughs> yeah, I, I I was too cold. I, I wasn't going to exchange niceties or like, thank you. That you're welcome. I know I turned it off and ran straight to the house. I'm like, all right, got to go. Dang. <laughs> yeah, good that luck, was your lady. public service for the month, I think. I was I was too paranoid to stay out there for too long. And all of a sudden, the police show up. This guy burst my pipes and he and <laughs> nah. Yeah, you don't need to be on Good Morning America on Monday morning. <laughs> let me let me stop being so paranoid. I, I won't say that. So she seemed like a sweet lady. I was just I was just happy that I caught it uh, in time. But but yeah, some of us can't escape, uh, un unlike some people <laughs> who are out there. Well, did they ever figure out who leaked the text message from his wife? No, I didn't even hear about that. You said there was a, a oh yeah, 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 no, yes, yes, yeah, I did hear about that. Yeah, somebody had leaked that. a group was, chat because um, his he, wife was asking, hey, can anybody get away for a few days or a week? We're thinking yeah, about going to Cancun. They, they and were... They were in a group text messages with friends and stuff. Talk, you know. I mean, this is this takes me back to an old joke from uh, I don't know if you remember Def Comedy Jam back from yeah. back in the day, and uh, when they used to say that that uh, white folks would always. <laughs> <laughs> when they go on vacation, they tell the whole neighborhood. I don't yeah. know if you can if you can confirm this or not. Like we're going to Europe. Yeah, yeah. They tell. <laughs> yeah, everybody knows that. Yeah, it. <laughs> Black folks, we we sneak off the block. We don't tell. Four o'clock in the morning, we just. Yeah. Hey, have you seen the Williams this no, week? No, we, I haven't seen. No, we're gone. We don't tell anybody that we're going anywhere. But they were in a group chat with their friends and fam some of the family does anybody want to come with us we're going to cancun trying to get away for the week and blah 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 and then somebody in that um in that group wh who uh, yeah, that's who leaked screenshots it. and sent him out to the press yeah because i'm telling you ted cruz even though he he was able to you know squeak out a win last time and everything he, even a lot of his followers i mean when it comes to an election if it's if it's ted cruz versus the opposition i mean they're gonna they're gonna swarm around him and, and support yeah. him but in reality nobody likes ted cruz <laughs> he's so unlikable and you know what um the comment section i saw people were going after him because apparently mm -hmm. they let the whole family him the wife and the kids went to mexico and they left the dog in the house what with no power i don't know if that's true but i saw people coming for him on twitter because of that because they said that he i don't know what proof they had that the dog was left alone but somebody said that they left their poodle at home alone with no power while they were in mexico so so ted cruz is and i know you haven't seen it yet ted, ted cruz is actually agatha hartness from uh wandavision with that with what just happened last so so ted cruz killed the dog though so that's that's what's going on with that so, i don't think the dog died but i think that people were really upset that they left them alone with oh no dog. that dog is dead inside oh <laughs> I'm, I've got to live here with Ted Cruz. Yeah, it, it might not physically be dead, but based on what it's had to go through, it's dead on the inside for sure. That dog is all, yeah, we're going to see a uh, a silhouette, a dark outline on a, on a news reporter. This uh, person wanted to remain anonymous. It's this damn dog. And it's the dog. Yeah, it's the poodle. <laughs> uh, but in the comment section. Oh, so I, 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 yeah. <laughs> but in this, um, 
from the comment section of, of the, the tweet that came out on, what is this, KVUE ABC uh, News. They, they tweeted out that Ted Cruz has returned to Houston from his short trip in Cancun after like multiple excuses of why he was going. At first, it was just to get my family out there. And then it was, oh, because the, he threw his daughters under the bus. They really wanted yeah, to go to Cancun. Yeah. So I, I, took, I wanted to escort them as if their moms couldn't ex- escort them. Why did you, why did you have to go too? I know some uh, some people were making fun of it because it was ironic that the guy who was all for the border wall to keep Mexicans who were fleeing from harsh living conditions in Mexico trying to come to America, he then jumps over the border on the plane yeah. <laughs> to uh, to escape harsh conditions here in Texas. And right, uh, everybody was comparing him to the bad guy in Titanic that got on the women and oh, children. Oh, I boat. saw that meme. Yeah, I have a child. Yes, exactly. Yeah, everybody's saying that was Ted going to Mexico. <laughs> because he he does it all the time. He's I think he did that when he ran for president. If he, something happened and he threw his his family under the bus, he always does that. He he's that guy that will always remind you that he has a black friend when he says something racist. He's that guy who when if he had an affair and got caught. He would, he would um, for, for, you know, force his wife like to stand next to him and, and you know, that, that yeah. stand by your man. Uh, he's that guy that if he says something sexist, he'd be like, I, I should have known better because I have a daughter, I have a wife. Don't use your right. family yeah, as that, shields. No, he, he is a special kind of creepo. And the places they were, this is what I don't get. The places they were supposed to be going to, the Ritz-Carlton in Cancun, like the dinners were over every single dinner on the menu was over a hundred dollars supposedly but mm. yet they flew commercial to mexico if you had all that money to be spending hundreds of dollars at dinner fly on a private jet and nobody would have known where you went stupid yeah exactly like i mean if you're gonna be a scoundrel at least be smart about it ted ain't smart enough to no uh, ex- exactly ted, they i mean to show ted, <laughs> he probably has a million dollars in the bank and he was he's probably he does seem like the type of dude that'll be like a penny pincher and save and yes, be you know cheap. what he looks like the kind of guy who would eat the entire steak and then be like this was terrible i don't want this on the bill yeah can i yeah i want to <laughs> yeah he'll he like he'll he's, he's like he'll out say, karen like, the karens <laughs> Yes, he is like a dude, Karen. That's what he reminds me of. Did you did you see that uh, that one of his uh, many excuse interviews where I hate it when he get when he's on the spot and he's trying to excuse himself out of it because he his mannerism is always the same. He's always he does that look away thing like, well, we just wanted to go on vac uh, to take the kids to get them out of here because you know they really wanted to like he's like trying to buffer and really think of yeah, his he's trying bullshit. To think of, like, let me put on this straight face while I lie through my teeth. Like yeah. Um, liars they say that liars look up into the like to the left or to the right to like access that part of the brain where you have to lie he doesn't just look to the left he his whole body shifts to yeah, lie yeah he just turns all it's, the way around exactly like like it's like his trump is right there what what, what do i say now donald okay right, yeah. yeah he's trying to read the teleprompter in his mind like what do i say now? He, it's, it, um, yeah they they uh, like his assistants like behind him with that that yellow the cue uh, cards board. yeah like yes stick to the fucking script <laughs> But th- I know but, to the people who are in charge of the country, so you know things are going great. I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm telling you, uh, they like I said, they'll they'll uh, support him unless he's primary. They'll support him when it's when it's him against the opposition. But in reality, even even Republicans don't like Ted Cruz. It I, that is cold. I mean, you know, for lack of a better term, very cold blooded to just be like, all right, well, this isn't going so well. Let me hit the tropics real quick while you guys do whatever you're doing. He's like the, I don't know, he, he's like the uh, uh, the Rick James versus Charlie Murphy in the, uh, he's like the Rick, the way Rick, like, the way Dave Chappelle's version of Rick James was in the in the Senate. That's what he is, like, he comes out of, uh, out, of, out of nowhere, Mitch McConnell, and just punch him in the yeah. face, and just, and forget about it. Like, he'll, it just seems like that kind of dude. Uh, the, there's just, like, this crew, and I feel like him, Marco, Marco Rubio, who is from Florida, my uh-huh. state, like, there's just, like, a crew of them that are just they're dastardly but not cunning like they're not smart guys and i don't really even know how they got to the level that they're at but somehow things just keep falling into place for them i don't yeah know. they just keep failing upward i don't know how they do it just failing right. upward he lost a lot of texans respect i mean even republicans i mean like straight up when when he ran for president donald trump 
uh, insulted his wife, insulted oh, yeah. his dad, his ugly and wife he went still after them. and still kid. I mean, he would have gotten. If, if, of course, you know, with the whole cultural personality thing, he would have gotten shellacked for totally going against uh, uh, Donald. But he would have still had respect because you know you, I don't even know what his wife looks like, but she's the one that was texting everybody that it got leaked, and yeah. maybe the people just didn't want to go to Cancun with the ugly wife. Isn't that what Trump said he had an ugly wife? Yeah, that he had a, yeah, yeah that, that like look at his wife in comparison to wife. Melania. If Melania would have invited him, they would have gone. Ex- yeah, exactly. <laughs> Probably. I I don't know. I, I mean, Sophie's choice. Do you, who do you want to vacate? Who do you want to go to Cancun with, Trump or Jed? <laughs> yeah, I. That's that's like that's a, a question. That's the question you guys should answer. That's, who do you that's like? One more? of those horrible like fuck Mary kills. Like what? It's like no, it's 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 in Cancun with. It's like it's it's like the instead of fuck Mary kill, it seems like it's just uh, a, a kill or or put in a coma. Which one? Which one? Which one? <laughs> <laughs> and it's just all the Republican like GOP leaders. Oh my. <laughs> There is no, there is no right, there is no wrong answer uh, when it comes to who would you rather put in a coma and who would you rather have eliminated. But uh, you didn't hear it's that from, uh, from uh, uh, he's a, uh, uh, it's not illegal. He's not. He was. He, we're not. We're not endorsing harming no, anyone here. We're not condoning anything. We're, we're not. Condo- we're not. We're not. We're not. We're, this is. This is. This is jokes. Yeah, right. it's all for fun. All but for uh, fun. in the comment section, though, they uh, it was like okay. So at DT, uh, if I'm saying this right, DTE flan number one. Uh, says it's funny how shit comes back around. Ted never failed to be a huge disappointment. Now saying he had planned to stay in Cancun until Sunday. So that theory about just dropping off the daughters just ain't holding up. Then he's using the the laugh the crying laughing emoji. <laughs> uh, seven times. Hey, I'm with him in solidarity. <laughs> yeah, and then Ted Ted lying so much he can't remember the lie. Yeah, he went back and forth on it uh, a couple times uh, between the I was just gonna go for a day, to but the original ticket uh, uh, or the um, the uh, the boarding pass I think it said that he was gonna be there from what Thursday or Wednesday to Sunday. It was like a five day vacation. So, as the, I mean the the paperwork doesn't lie. Uh, Low at Lolo One Wolf said uh, he needs a police escort question mark. Where's Heidi? Is Heidi his wife's name? I don't know. I think, yeah, Cruz? actually, I think it is. I think it is. He said, "Where's Heidi?" I'm, I'm, I think she stayed. I think her and the kids stayed behind in uh, in Cancun. They're like, you know, they I don't want to fly back with him. Le- yeah, because they know that the cameras are waiting for them to get back, so they didn't want to fly with him. They're like, "We'll catch the next flight, babe. Don't that, worry." That, <laughs> I, that that when he was running for president and he was talking with his daughter and he tried to give her a kiss on the cheek and she jerked away, that explained a lot. I, I think they love him. They just don't like him like that. He looks like he's made out of clay. I don't know. His, there's something weird about his skin. He looks like he's like, I don't know. Yeah, it's like that beard is trying to fight through it. It's weird. Yeah. But <laughs> uh, let's see. At uh, Z- uh, Zombie Cake it says, uh, we don't believe him. And hopefully outvotes uh, will reflect. Our, out. I'm sure you meant to say our votes will reflect that. We won't forget. A lot of those we won't don't forget uh, t- uh, tweets are coming out under this one. Um uh i can't see where the ad is for this person the terra diddle life of S- i can't even okay at orlogs to uh Vertity or what i don't know if i'm saying that right whether true or not he rectified his error and went back to texas this is somebody's trying to uh support it he rectified no that's not rectifying it that's that's just cutting your vacation plan short if somebody hadn't caught video of him in the airport he would have never he been like, never hey guys, back. I'm in Cancun. He would have never broadcast that information. He didn't want it out there. And he only came back because he got caught. You're not sorry for what you did. You're sorry you got caught. Classic. That's, that's, that's a classic situation. That. <laughs> yeah. And then somebody else said the exact same thing. Zombie cake re- replied to it. No, he continued his dis- uh, display of weakness and ran home with his uh, tail tucked. He'll excuse himself with the press coverage. We see it. And then she goes back and says, no, he made a mistake, took immediate steps to correct. I wouldn't call weakness in addition he might have planned his vacation with his family at least a month ago i usually book my trip no no see that's when you're putting words in, in their mouth who, trying to mm-mm. excuse i them. know people who 
go so hard for politicians. I'm like, wait a minute, they work for you. You're not their PR yeah, yeah. rep. What are you? Exactly. People always look like clowns when they go so hard for politicians. I saw I saw that uh, recently where where people were like, uh, where are all the the Biden fans at? Y'all not y'all y'all aren't getting on social media and supporting your guy as much as we supported our guy. Where are the Biden fans? And and somebody broke into that. This was on TikTok, and they broke into that video, and it was like because we don't celebrity worship our politicians we're not we're we're his voters he works for us we're not his damn fans okay yeah. that and she was like that's why i think you guys are in a cult because you're treating these people as if i mean everybody's all talking about how obama yeah, was treated a like fandom. a rock uh, yeah, fan yeah like they're saying that obama was treated like a rock star and stuff yeah he got up there to some a rock star uh uh personality but but look what happened after he was no longer president they moved. They, they moved on. They went. They were. They went behind Hillary. They went behind Biden. They we we moved on. We're not constantly, uh, you know, going. Uh, you know, yeah. this snow is falling. I wish Obama would come out and help help me shovel this stuff. Like nobody's worried about what Obama's <laughs> doing right now. Nobody cares. Like that. If if your politician needs you to constantly, constantly praise them, there's something wrong with that. And I just mm -hmm. feel like Ted Cruz is always asking his daughters to to throw an extra pr uh, prayer when they're when they're saying grace like don't forget dear old dad i just feel like ted's one of those guys <laughs> remind don't, don't forget to throw dad in there kids get, yeah since you got the big man's ear put yeah yeah make, make sure one get one from ted cruz <laughs> but well, let me do a couple more real quick and then we move on to the uh, uh get some of that uh that advice going on for the keeping the trail sec uh, segment uh oh wait a minute i maybe i can let me see if i can get this to play no, I can't. Okay, I can't do it. I'm gonna let me move on to the next one. So, um, at KUV KVUE says, so if Ted Cruz went to Cancun to just accompany his family and plans to fly back immediately, why did he take luggage? And then it shows him with the, with the luggage. I don't know if you can see that, but it shows. Uh, yeah, it shows him you know, like walking around with a big ass bag. So if Ted Cruz was just planning on going for just one day why did he take this big ass bag <laughs> with them with this all his is, face cream take two parents to accompany children on a flight like they i don't. could understand if they were unaccompanied minors but the wife was going too so that doesn't even make any sense it, it never it never makes it that's why people kept saying you're throwing your you're throwing your, your family under the bus again ted uh right. and somebody else replies again yeah i should say so on on that the, the police escort dudes in deep doo-doo at home by the way notice wifey and daughter aren't back if i were wifey i'd wait while i barf thinking about it i'd hire a lawyer and be done with the with the creep <laughs> he'll never resign but one can hope and dream I, i'm telling you and i wouldn't be surprised if that was a a a, a, a Republican who said that because I'm telling you there's a lot of people from Texas who voted for Ted who just don't like him but they just they vote for him because you know they feel like you know at least he'll vote in line with their yeah. you know with their beliefs and everything but as a person no they don't they don't look they don't like them but this is i feel like the the wives of these horrible men never leave them because if they leave them then that ruins his conservative image and now he's a divorced man and he won't have the power that he has and then she won't have what she has through him so they just stick around with these creeps and just keep but living I, the dream i'm not yeah and that's the tradition right but i've noticed that some there have been some uh, politicians wives who have started to break that whole stand by your man no matter what thing even though with all the transgression there's been like when anthony weiner his wife but i think yeah i was gonna love. say that's the only one that i can think of off the top of my head that something really hit the fan and she was like i'm out peace. it was like, the um, it was the like the umpteenth time with him secretly doing some stuff with uh, underage girls on on the internet and stuff and it was like you right. know what no i'm not gonna do that standby I, she did it once and I, I and i genuinely think because she you know she really wanted to work it out and uh and everything but then after after it happened again like no 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 i i i, I have more respect well, okay. oh go ahead oh, you know back in i was gonna say you know back in the, like the origin of last names was usually like your trade you know mm -hmm. baker locksmith whatever goldsmith but and then so it just seems like there might have been something to it you might have should have thought twice when you were marrying into a wiener family that something <laughs> might have gone like i feel like you just you should have had the forethought to think this might not be kosher yeah 
But I was rooting for them because, for one, I forgot his his ex wife's uh, name. I think she used to work for the uh, Hillary um, uh, for work for Hillary and whatnot. I think I'm, so too. Yeah, they were like really deep in, and he was like they thought that he was going to run for president in a couple of years and all that yeah. when all that broke out. Like they were on the fast track to they, they want to they want to pass politicians. Yeah, and I and I and I'm not gonna lie. I, I mean, as I, I'm a I'm just because because I'm a. I'm a typical guy. I, I rooted for him because I was like, man, dude, don't be messing up that that she your wife fine, dude. Don't be messing that up. Like I was that's what I was rooting for for him to to get his act together. I'm like, dude, you are messing up. That woman is fine. <laughs> like it's like stop. But li- listen, it doesn't always matter because Beyonce got cheated on too. So it- Right, exactly. And they, and they tell you and I'm, that's that's a saying out there about that. Uh, like like Holly Berry is usually an example. I love Holly Berry. If I could marry Holly Berry, like and, and a person would go, uh, for Every, if I, you show me uh, a man that something like if you can show me a man who who's desperate to or would love to to sleep with Holly Berry, I can show you a guy who's already tired of of sleeping with her or something yeah. like, like in a relationship. He's he's uh, there's there's a guy who's probably already tired of of, of, mm-hmm. of being with her every day. If, if a guy's gonna be like that, or, or or a woman, if a person's gonna cheat, they're gonna be they're gonna do it. But keeping it real uh, segment, we got uh, this is our advice. I put this under the we got your mail portion because that for this for this channel that's technical what it is. Whenever we get any uh, questions that are brought into the show, uh, we we talk about it on we got your mail. But for this for this advice part of it, I I, I usually put the we got your mail stuff on Sunday, but for this. It's just uh, it'll be you know on Fridays and I'll segmentize it um, bef- before uh, Sunday. So whenever it, whenever these come in and whenever we do the, these type of uh, ad, you know advice types of uh, uh, segments, I'll post them immediately. So uh, okay, that's what. So for and since this is Amanda, since this is Amanda Wilson uh, here, like we're gonna call it keeping it trick because like let, let's see what she does for this one. Okay, so Amanda, here we go. From uh, now, this is what this I think was brought in before uh, Valentine's, but uh, there was a little issue that I was uh, <laughs> I couldn't put it on last week's show because we was going through some things over here. But uh, so this is right after Valentine's Day. But I think this was submitted before Valentine's from an Adeline Bell, and Adeline says, "Okay, I was asked out by two men on Valentine's Day, and I am trying to figure out who to go with." One guy has a lot of money and he is very successful, but kind of uh, pretentious. So going out with him is a lot of energy, but he buys me nice things. Well, I know I'll get a really good Valentine's Day present come, uh, coming from him if I go to dinner. On the other hand, the other guy that asked me out is a guy I work with. I always thought he was attractive, so that's not a problem. He's nice, uh, we're friends, and he seems to have his stuff together, but I'm worried that if I go out with him, that if it doesn't work out, I'll have to see him every day at work. But also, if I turn him down, I'll have to see him every day and don't want to be awkward if I reject him. What should I do? Mm, mm, mm. Ooh. Okay. Well, honestly, my first reaction is to say neither one of them because the first guy, this is my the guy with the money. Say, yeah. The money bags. We'll call him money bags. Mm-hmm. My, my grandma used to always say, if you marry for money, you're going to earn every penny because you are working to be around someone that you don't care to be around just for finances. So pretty much it's a job at that point. Right. You're doing something for money. Um, so, I mean, depend, and if you really don't enjoy his company, then at that point, I don't know your situation, but you would just be weighing whether the monetary gifts and all that is worth the time and effort to be around someone you don't really like. And the guy at work, uh, I mean, I know a lot of people have met people that they end up being with long-term through work. So I don't think that's the worst thing, but if you are having reservations about it, then maybe that's not the best thing for you either. Uh, Cause it could get really messy and you would have to see them, you know, if it goes really good for a while, then go South. Or if it go, you know, just never gets off the ground, it could be awkward at work. So I don't know. I don't think that if you're not sure about it, I would just look other where there are a lot of guys out there and those aren't the only two options. My advice, go to Cancun. Don't tell nobody. <laughs> What, get the what get money bags to fly you out to Cancun if he's not coming and then all your problems are solved. You might meet Ted Cruz down there, take him from his wife. It could be a whole new life. I wonder how many people would be like, just date both of them. You know, go go out earlier that day with the guy from work, could, make it a brunch, 
And then- Listen, if you, this is something that I have never understood. If you're going to be a cheater, you really have to have some stamina. I can't, I don't have the energy to be running around talking to five different people all the time, be in seven different places. Who has time for that? Have you never, you never went on a, on two dates with, on, on the same day? No. I'm trying to think if I've ever done that. I heard, listen, I mean, I have a boyfriend now, but even when I was single, I wasn't, people weren't knocking down the door to get dates that much where I had to schedule them in the same day. It was like, oh, I'm overwhelmed with dates. I guess we're gonna have to double book. Like that was not a problem I ever had. You're like, like, the, like this, it's, it's, a, it's a conundrum though. It's like, this guy could fly me to Cancun, but the other guy could fire me. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, and I mean, I think that it's fine. If, it, if you're not serious with either one of them, it's fine to date multiple people. If, if right. no one thinks that they're the one and only, it's fine to go on, you know, dates with other people to see who you like. That's that's what dating is. Um, but seems, I just... Oh, no, I was say, I'm sorry. It, se it seems like you're in a situation where people, where the, both of these guys are just trying to, uh, could possibly flaunt power. Like the first guy is all like, I'll... Maybe he maybe he's just like that. Maybe he just like when he likes a person, he just likes to spoil them and stuff. But yeah. it, but it also could be looked at as he's just trying to show off his money. And he thinks that's the only reason why she'll like him. And then the well, other guy is all, uh, if you get that vibe money, that yeah. he's gonna be weird around you at work, then yeah, then what kind of what, what does that say about him? I mean, maybe you're. But what if she, what if she's wrong on both accounts? What if both of these guys are just nice and will be they're genuine and sweet about it? And she's and it's all played out in her head. You don't. You don't know unless you try, but at the same time, I'm a, I'm all about risk management. I yeah. I agree with you. Yeah. If you, if the if the risk if you feel like it's a risk, then it's possible that she might uh you know in the moment you know take something the wrong way and project something out and like they'll they might take it the wrong way and she could manifest her worst case scenario yeah. by well what I was thinking about with the guy in the office is you know I don't know how big or small of a company it is or how well she knows him through work but I feel like you get kind of an idea of a person if you work yeah. with them for a long time so if you if you know him during a 40 hour work week and you're still kind of not sure if you guys are really going to hit it off then you probably are not going to hit it off I feel like right. you would have strong if it was a good thing I feel like you would have stronger feelings of it being a positive thing rather than wondering about it in the first place that's that that almost seemed like it was, it was a double meaning there it's like well the first guy can buy me a yacht but the second guy's like how big is your company if you know what i mean <laughs> <laughs> i don't know how many employees you have but i'm just trying you know <laughs> i don't care i don't care how many employees you've been with in the past but how is big this a is a publicly this? trained how company like, like how big is that office if you follow me there <laughs> Is it a corner office? I need details. That, but yeah, that, I think that it, to me, I, I don't know what she ended up doing since Valentine's already passed, but I feel like neither one of them are jumping out as like, yeah, this is a great idea. I think I think there's something else better out there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I, I mean, there's uh, I, I mean, yeah, just like but just like you said, you can you can just lay it down, uh, lay the lay the line down right in the beginning. I'll I'll, I'll go, but this is not a ex like we're not exclusive yet uh, uh, yeah. you know kind of a thing don't don't always be up front like like when my when my daughter grows up and if she ever like wants to uh uh to have a friend or a boyfriend or whatever want to be come over to this house and anything I, i'm gonna do i'm gonna take some advice that i got from steve harvey i'll i'm gonna in front of her i will because boys will try to, and, and girls too, will try to uh, pull that whole mixed signals. We're just, we're just friends, or we're just talking. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna t uh, test them out like this. If you can say what you guys are, when I'm dropping stuff. If you can tell me what you guys are in front of me, then it lets my daughter know, what, you know, if she's being taken seriously. So I'll ask him right in front of her, "What are you to my daughter?" And if he says we're just friends then let it be that's it then that's how he sees you yeah but if he can't like stand up and be like i like her as i want to be her boyfriend if he has the guts to say it in front of me then i can say okay this guy he's he's taking he maybe yeah, he's his a serious are in the right uh, spot. guy yeah, maybe, he's, maybe yeah. he's more but I, but if these but you know how guys are we just talking we just yeah. friends <laughs> Yeah, I, yeah, that and that is how in 2021 everyone is in a situation ship and not a relationship, and that is how it goes right now. Yeah. So if y'all just, uh, yeah. So if y'all just talking, 
if y'all are just talking, then y'all just, you know, then yeah. let it be that casual thing. If it's, it's no big deal, don't worry about it. Yeah, if, but you're, if, if you're just if, talking, then everybody's free as a bird. But yeah, but if, if, if they want to be serious or if you want to be something, if you f see something potential, if there's potential with, with anything. But I mean, look at how it was set up. I like this guy. He's got a lot of money. And the other guy, I like this guy, but he's my boss. I don't know. I don't. I don't know if that's what you're into. That's what you're into. <laughs> yeah, I just it, it could be great, it, but it could. I feel like could the potential be. for it to be messy is so much higher than the potential for yeah. it to be awesome. Yeah. So that's just judge it based on the, on the messy talking. scale. Yeah. If yes. the, the 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 messy uh the hot how hot are they? The guys have a hot crazy scale. Women should have a hot messy scale. Yeah, the vortex. <laughs> yeah, hot and crazy. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess I guess if, so if they stay within the safe zone then i guess but if but if one i don't know what I, I i don't know these like i said i don't we don't we don't know these guys so we don't know um uh, well, you know them it's better past than we valentine's do. day i'm curious to know what adeline ended up doing if she wants to update us on that i'll follow up i'll try to follow up with her and I'll, and I'll find out what uh she did and we'll we'll probably we'll post it on the community tab here or or, or maybe i'll post it in the comment section below on this uh on this link and i'll update you guys on it or if you guys really want to know what she found what she did then uh maybe we'll talk about it at the top of next week's show but I know yeah, that's we're uh, invested in this now. <laughs> right. But that was it. That's uh that's that was uh that's the advice. That's uh uh Amanda Wilson's advice uh for uh should I date the uh the boss or should I date the the guy with the, that can get the the boss uh yeah, that can buy the boss's for, company yeah. from him. <laughs> <laughs> That's, but uh, that's all that for the keeping the trail uh, segment. I appreciate you for, uh, helping me out again for this week's uh, episode of uh, the wrap up for the week. So speaking of wrap up, what do you? What's your plans for uh, the weekend? What you're about to get into? What, what are you guys doing? Um, I have no idea. The weather has been terrible here. It's been raining every single day. So I am kind of just trying to stay inside as much as possible. Catch up on some stuff around here. I don't know. What are you getting into? Uh, just <laughs> buying some more supplies and. Uh, and going around neighborhoods, seeing whose pipes are bursting, so I can, I can, I can swoop in. Listen, bring a poncho next time. Save yourself some trouble. People are gonna, people are gonna uh, accuse me of like creating these problems, so I can come out. Oh and yeah, like the hero complex where the you start fire complex. so that you can put them out. <laughs> exactly, so I can be on the news every day <laughs> solving these problems. So I better just stay my butt inside the house and just mind my own business. That's what yes, I'm gonna do. Yes, please stay safe over there. I know you and your neighbors are going through it. Yeah, yeah, we are, we are. But uh, yeah, so so far it's 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 slowly getting better. They they say that when the now, now for you people, if anybody that's in Texas now uh, that that might be watching this now, be warned. Like when this freeze, it's about to warm up in the next couple of days that's when a new wave of problems could come in they say once this this ice and these pipes that, that are frozen if your pipes have like frozen then when it thaws that can be another problem that can come out down the uh the, the line of uh, uh, uh breaks like be yeah. vigilant on all these things because don't don't think just because it's getting warmer that that's just going to make the problem go away when these when these pipes freeze and then it thaws that can cause that could be the actual cause of some of these old pipes bursting so i think i just just be visual out there and guys be careful out there be safe we're still in a pandemic uh think about that too and um everybody out there in texas we're we're just let's pull together with or without ted cruz all uh, right so <laughs> that's the show that's the wrap up of the week i appreciate it uh, ain't, uh amanda wilson again everybody let us know where we can find you uh if we want to reach out to you directly um, I am online on Instagram and Twitter at, at Amanda, A-M-A-N-D-U-H underscore Wilson. I'm on Facebook, Amanda Wilson Comedy. And I did download TikTok, but I haven't put anything on there yet. I don't even know what my username is. Maybe the same Amanda Wilson. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it'll say Amanda Wilson. Like, uh, Wait, I think it's the same username, but I'm not. I just, my friends send me videos on there that I check in messages, but that's as much as I've gotten into it because I'm scared that I'm going to get addicted to it. So I try not to open it that much. <laughs> Oh yeah, you're gonna get addicted. I can <laughs> yeah, tell. I know. That's why I'm like, I don't even want to hit the crack pipe because I know I'm gonna get addicted. <laughs> I can already tell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna happen. But that's oh, and as for me, guys, you know me. That's Chris at uh, Chris Fagan 1980. It's at Twitter and uh, on Instagram. Uh, you can follow us at T3 Media's on all the social media as well. So send us questions, comments, concerns that you might want us to share on We Got Your Mail. If you want uh, us to sh uh, give a little advice for, uh, if you want Amanda to to help you out uh, on the Keeping It Real sec uh, segment of the show, send it to us. Send us uh, your your stories, whatever it's about love, family, uh, whatever, uh, whatever it is. Hey, hell, we know a lot about a little and a little about a lot of things. 
Uh, so we uh, will definitely get that uh, out to you and and uh, share it with you and give our two cents, whatever it's worth. Appreciate you guys once again. I'm Chris Fagan again. That's uh, that's. I'm, I always want to say I'm so close to calling you Amy every time. I, I know it's okay. I it, it's it's fine. I know. <laughs> I would do the same thing, honestly. That's I'm Chris. That's Amanda. Amanda Wilson. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see you guys next week. Maybe and we might see uh, Amanda about on the uh, on Wednesday's uh, episode. Uh, yes, so, I might be back on Wednesday. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully, uh, we'll we'll uh, stay tuned for that, guys. Till next time. Hey, Have peace. a good weekend. If you like what you saw, make sure to subscribe to the channel and please drop a like on this video. It really does help us. Also, don't forget you can turn on notifications so you don't miss a single review, react, why is that trending, or we got your mail.